So it's the fall of 2018, and or it's approaching the fall, and I'm coming in to MIT with my parents, and we're really excited because you know I'm at this amazing place of learning. You know, you hear about this place in like movies, right? So it's really cool, and with it comes a sense of excitement, like wonderment almost, because I'm standing on on these shoulder on like the shoulders of giants, but also a sense of like indigestion, right? Of just like, oh God, what's going to happen next? But luckily, the first couple of weeks were okay. You know, I go into my, for example, graduate biochemistry class, and since that's my background, what I came in knowing, um, I come in with a sense of kind of like comfort that everything's going to be okay, that I am capable of going here, finishing my degree, and then leaving in like somewhere around five to six years, which is very exciting. <laughs> um, but then comes along another sort of obstacle a couple weeks in, where we're going over a relatively simple topic that is called replica plating, which is where you take a plate of cells and then you press a piece of fabric onto it to pick up the cells. And then you put that piece of fabric with the cells on it onto a plate that has no cells. So essentially you're just, like I said, transferring cells from one plate to another. And we were reviewing this topic with my friends just in a regular study room, me and some other friends. Um, and you know, I think I raised my hand because we were just like someone was lecturing and I said, Wait, so what are you talking about? Like, how do you move from one plate to another? They said, well, you just put the piece of fabric on there. And then I asked them, what do you mean you just use a piece of fabric? And then they said, you just use the piece of fabric. And I think we continued with this almost like circular system of questions over and over again until they got to like six or seven questions later when it seemed like I was asking my questions as a joke. But in reality, I was totally and utterly befuddled by this by this process and they ended up laughing at me which was truly shocking because at that moment was when I kind of went from thinking I can do this to maybe I can't <laughs> and so it kind of just nudged at me and it kept on nudging at me to the point where for example I was also in a class with a professor and I was going over some sort of experimental design and when we were drawing our experimental design, I drew like a little drawing of a cell and I happened to put a smiley face on it because that's just how I was taught by an instructor all the way back, probably in like high school. And you know, they, they, they made a point of it. They, they kind of just remarked on it. And when they remarked on me drawing that, it also made me kind of like once again question whether or not I could do it. And so instead of this like vibrant, kind of like excited graduate student, I kind of became this worried graduate student of, like, what did I actually get myself into? Because, you know, even though MIT is this great place of learning, it also just seemed very inaccessible to me at the moment. And so these things just kept on happening, and I kept on kind of questioning my ability to be here, my competency, so to speak, until eventually I got to a point where I needed what I would call professional help. <laughs> and I decided to email one of my professors, and he was very understanding. He actually replied within, like, the day. And he mentioned like, oh yeah, let's just meet on, um, here are a couple days that I'm available. And one of them happened to be Sunday at 7 p.m. And I was astonished because, you know, you would think that a professor would have very little time or they have other things to do. But this professor took time to like say, oh yeah, my schedule is actually totally open on a weekend at a really awkward hour, which is pretty crazy. So I went and I met him. Or essentially I went to his building. And so then we met. Um, he let me into his office. And he was very cordial. He also took a lot of time to make sure that I was comfortable because he gave me like a cup of tea. He was able to give me a, um, he let me just kind of like sit in his office and just chill out for a minute or two because I think he could sense that there was a sense of kind of malaise coming from me, like a sense of pain. And so as a result, um, he just at one point just asked me like what, what exactly is happening and what I thought was going to be just a brief conversation about my academic performance or how to better my academic performance ended up really turning into a lot of the emotional turmoil that I had faced in the last couple months. And so I had told him all sorts of things, like for example, that I felt incompetent and that I thought that, you know, the others and that, you know, that I had, had these experiences where I just felt like I just wasn't, like I, like I just didn't belong here and how everyone else seemed like they belong here but not me. And I think upon me saying that, there was a sort of silence for a minute or two. And after 
you know, a minute or two, he just turned to me and he said, what makes you think that the others like also feel perfectly competent? And upon him saying that, there was a sense of relief from the idea that I wasn't totally alone and that some of my experiences were not per se unique and that instead this is something that a lot of other students are facing but maybe we have a lot of trouble kind of voicing. And so instead of thinking of that one time when my friends were laughing at me as them mocking me or them calling me incompetent, in reality it's probably that they were reflecting on their experiences and they saw that you know, even someone else who is also very smart has, had, has trouble with something seemingly simple. Or even like a professor pointing out a certain type of drawing is not necessarily him saying like, oh man, this guy is incompetent. It's more so, oh, that's a different viewpoint that I hadn't considered before. And it's taken some time to truly delve into this topic of self-love and self, like, and just my ability as, as, a, as a student. But it's really forced me to think of my studies not as a competition, but instead as a time for me to grow and learn as much as possible.